I feel like it's going to be a monster year also. Crowell, last year I averaged 4.8. Yes! Great year. <laughs> um, but when you look back at, let's say, your self-evaluation... Got to run the ball more. Okay. I'd be the Did first to tell you that. that as I beat myself up about that. I'm, I'm a coach that likes to run the ball. But, you know, I think we all recognize where we were in games last year. You know, trying to play from behind is hard. And uh, understanding what our team was last year, feeling that you had to get off to a fast start to get ahead of a team because you knew how some things would unfold. I think Crowell is poised for a big year. You know, and I think he uh, deserves it. He worked extremely hard a year ago, him and Duke both. And I, I think our running game needs to uh, come to the forefront. So what was your assessment of last season? I feel like I could have done more. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of talented guys uh, on our team. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm not a greedy guy, but, you know, um, I feel like, you know, I, I got what it takes, you know, to help my team win, and I want to I wanna contribute as much as I can. What's your coaching message to him? Now? Go to take it to another level. You know, the guy had almost 1,000 yards a year ago when I didn't hand him the ball. You know, who, what can he have if I do hand him the ball, you know? Uh, the greatest of all times is I'm not saying he's on our field, but we think we have some pretty good backs on our team. And I just got to turn around and give it to him and let him make it happen. You know, I'm very confident in myself because, I, you know, I know how the work I put in, and I know, you know, how talented I am. Is that a source of frustration at all?